Hello everyone, today I am going to show you how to create scattered effect in Houdini. So as you see in this output we are going to create that kind of effect. So let's move into Houdini. So here in network panel I am going to create first of all one geometry node. I just double click on it. Now before we moving into any complicated geometry I would like to show this effects on simple grid. So for that I just create tab and create one grid. Okay, And I just reduce the size of this grid and increase some segment. Okay. Now first of all I am going to show you the basic idea of this effect. So for that I just pick this lasso picking tool. I just select some primitives and over here in this viewport I just press tab and I call poly extrude operator. Now over here I just extrude this thing. Okay, so it just extrude that selected primitives. Now here the main thing is that you have to divide that thing into individual element. So see right now over here when you click this thing individual now it's individually extrude that thing. Okay. Now the base thing is about Houdini is that the grouping system. So over here I just click on this side group so this extrude side will store the information of your this side primitives okay so now what am i going to do i just right click over here i create one blast operator and i just blast this extrude sides so it just delete that sides now I again call poly extrude operator and over here I just apply some negative value in this distance and over here output back okay but uh, because I just extrude in reverse or negative value my normal goes in reverse direction so for that I just right click over here and I just call this reverse okay so it's okay right now now what we supposed to do is that I just select this actual and the thing what I need is that these things change with some attribute or that thing so directly we can't call this distance so for that I'm going to use this local controller and I call this distance scale attribute okay so Z scale so what Z scale basically do whatever value call over here is directly multiply with this distance so I'll show you this thing so for that I just right click over here and create attribute over here I just create with same name Z scale and here I just set the value 1 okay so right now uh, there is no impact because this attribute class is point and my exclusion is based on primitives so for that you need to change the types to primitives or there is one more option is that you just right click over here and attribute promote so we can promote your attribute like uh, my attribute is z scale 
and I want to change the original class point to new class primitive ok so right now there is no effect because my value is 1 so if I set this to 0.5 now you see the impact of that because that value 0.5 call over here 0.5 and that multiply with this distance so whatever that outputs come it apply over here so some of my steps gonna work now the main thing is that I just select this primitive manually so I need some proper process through which I can select this thing using procedural technique so there are so many ways but uh, whatever I use over here is like this so I just create one basic primitive like spear over here I change it to poly mesh and I just reduce scale and I just click over here template view so that and I just call this thing so now you see this impact now I just copy this attribute create by pressing alt and drag it over here I just change the input now over here over here I just change value to 0 and over here I change value to 1 now I want to transform this attribute from here to here so for that I call attribute transfer and here you just define geometry to transform attribute to so I just call this and call this and I just call over here now I want to see the impact of the transform attribute and basically we can't see that thing visually over here so for that I just call one color operator and over here in color type I just change it to ramp to attribute and over here I just define Z scale and before that uh, what I prefer is that you just go to attribute transform and here we gonna to transform point attribute and we just define that Z scale is my attribute which I want to transform so right now it's look wide because I just select this transform I go to condition and the distance the impact or the transformation of that attribute the distance is 10 radius and my geometry is just 5 by 5 so I need to decrease this distance and now you see the impact so in particular this area the my geometry is here you can see that sphere and I just spread that attribute over or just distance like this and if you want to feather this thing I just increase this blend width okay you just play around this values and now as you see over here okay so it is giving me good result now you just need to transform your spear and that impact change okay so I just deactivate this thing now I need some noise over here in this particular I need some animated noise on this displacement so for that what I prefer that I just call one attribute VOP operator through which I can design wax very easily so right now I want to play around that Z scale but uh, it is not available by default in this menu so for that what I prefer I just call I just press tab and I call bind node over here and to 
I just select this and I just define the scale attribute and over here to export that value whatever I calculate the thing so for that bind export and over here you need to define that scale as well now I need some calculation on this value that is my input and this is my output so for that I prefer first of all I call multiply my first input of multiply is my Z scale which I, I defined through that create node and all those stuff and I just call this now to add some noise over here I just call turbulent noise over here I just call position to position and to animate these things I I prefer that uh, this thing offset chain uh, according to time so for that to apply some animated value I prefer time or you can use frame also now the noise output of this noise goes to input 2 and now you see over here you get some animated noise on this thing now I just select this turbulent noise you can play with this value for example I just increase the value 3 and now you see okay so this is enough for me you can play around this value you can use 3d noise and some noise type and all the stuff so I just go to again geometry and this is okay right now for me Okay, now you just play with this transform okay now I just change this grid with my head or my complicated geometry so for that I just press tab and I call template head over here and it is very small so for that I just increase the size by 10 and now I just replace this grid with my primitive now I just select this head and now you see okay before that what I prefer is that you just go to poly exude and make sure that you delete all this manually setting okay now it's worked very fine now I select this transform of this peer now you can play with this I just select uh, activate this thing so we can easily define this attribute transform using this value like you can increase or decrease whatever you want I just again deactivate this thing now the thing is that we just click over here and we set this individual element so because of that I lost my smoothness over here on my face okay so for that what I prefer I just click over here and I click fuse basically that merge the vertices very properly now you see over here it give me some hard edge and here because it merge the nearest vertices properly so that's how you play with these things now you just need to animate this pier I just again decrease the radius now you play with this thing properly so now I just press alt to animate this thing so you can play around this thing I press alt again to apply keyframe you can play with these values if you feel that there is too much extrusion and all those stuff you can definitely play with this thing so 
that's how you create this scattered effect okay so hope you like this tutorial see you soon with another thank you Thank you.